Hi everyone, uh, just decided to create this short video to kind of give you an insight of this exam that I took uh, for uh, becoming a, a, a drone pilot uh, certified. Basically to fly your a drone commercially. Uh, what do I mean by that is basically every time you have to utilize your drone for anything in terms of, you know, getting paid uh, primarily for real estate or even using it for YouTube videos. Uh, it's recommended that you should be getting a hold of that commercial license. Um, they, the test consists of 60 questions. Um, the cost is 175. Um, I'm not really a good test taker, so uh, I maybe kind of went overboard. Uh, I did study a lot, but one thing I realized is that the questions are very similar to the practice exam. If it's not the exact question, it's the concept is there. So basically, if you take multiple practice exams, most likely if you pass the practice exam, you will pass the actual test. Uh, but it's very important not to memorize the practice exam questions, but to understand the concept. Uh, they're very identical. I think when I took the exam, I passed it with 87. Um, it wasn't too bad, uh, especially for someone like me who freaks out when it comes to tests. Um, just to kind of give you a quick background, uh, the table of the test is part 107, but the test is actually called Unmanned Aircraft General Small UAG. Um, so a few things you want to kind of keep in mind before you want to take this exam, um, you have to create your FTN, uh, which is the FAA tracking number. So you go into their FAA website and you basically request the um, you create your username and such, and then you should get a hold of this FTM. You can't take the exam until you have this actual with you. Um, or actually, you, you can't get certified unless you have this FTM number with you. And the way I did this, when I did the practice exam, when I was ready to take the test, uh, I managed to basically submit uh, to a testing facility using PSI True Talent. So I went through this website, and basically here you go you type in uag and it should kind of give you the exam here and then let me see oh, okay so i guess because i just took the exam so they're giving me a warning saying that you need at least 30 days Anyways, this is kind of like the website that I use to schedule the exam and then you can find the local facility nearby and you can set it up. Um, here, this is your application. Like I said, here's your FTN uh, number or code. Once you pass the exam, you will have to go into this website um, and I'll go ahead and put all the links below. Uh, and then you basically start a new application and you just kind of fill in your general information. Once you do that, uh, then you'll see something like this where it's a pending certification. You'll get a, like a PDF cert, uh, certification in case you want to use it within five days. But I believe I need to wait another a week or so until I get the actual certificate. But overall, the, the exam wasn't as bad. I uh, highly recommend everyone to get it. Um, I'll try maybe to record another video with kind of like basic questions that you will see uh, on the exam. Just remember when you take the practice exam, study the concept, do not memorize the questions. Uh, but there's few information that no matter what, they can only get creative so much. So, um, but definitely that, that little booklet, uh, one advice that I would give to everyone when you go on the exam, make sure you buy a magnifier because they will give you the booklet. I thought it was gonna be a PDF, but I learned it the hard way. They actually gave me the book where you had to kind of search through the pages and sometimes the image is too small. So uh, definitely get a magnifier to, to help you see the numbers. Uh, study the practice exam, take as many as you can, and you're guaranteed to pass with flying colors.